We've got a special one-on-one -on -one presented by Toyota, this time with one of the greatest linebackers to ever wear the red and gold. Navarro Bowman, first things first, how is retirement treating you? Are you getting to now sit back, put your feet up, and enjoy Sundays? That's exactly what I'm doing. Every single Sunday, I'm sitting back watching the game and, you know, enjoying time with the fam. You know, that's what retirement life is about. I think, uh, you know, what I give into the game allows me to, you know, relax as much as I am right now. Any itch to maybe get back on the field at all? It's so funny. I was sitting there right across from Patrick yesterday, like last night, um, and he mentioned, he's talking about, man, I might go back. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> So I don't, I'm not thinking about it, but he is. So yeah, I might want to give him a call. We might have to give Patrick a call. Uh, but let's look back at your career here with the 49ers. Three-time Pro Bowler, four-time All-Pro. When you look at that eight-year career, what stands out to you most? Um, every year, just getting better. Um, you know, answering the adversity. Played in the playoffs numerous years, uh, made it to a Super Bowl. It was exciting, you know. I look back at it and just uh, thank God for the opportunity. You know, uh, playing here for as long as I did meant a lot, um, and I'll always be faithful. Is there a specific play or a specific game that you look back on and it's that career-defining play? It might be a few. Uh, you know, I was talking to Pat again about a play and he says the play was the Michael Vick play when I tackled him in open field. I felt like that was a, 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 a huge uh, moment for me. Um, but I think the game where um, I started for the first time in Candlestick and uh, no one knew you know, who I was and what I uh, could bring to the team. So uh, I just wanted to show that, you know, and I ended up with like 18 tackles and that gave me the confidence uh, to walk back in here uh, that Monday. and try to just live up to that and not just be a one-hit wonder. I got to talk about a play in particular, and that's none other than the pick at the stick. Take me back through that game. What do you remember from that moment? Well, I, uh, as I always mention, I missed the onside kick earlier in that game, and um, I have never missed the onside kick, so don't blame the coaches or ask why a linebacker was on the hands team. Um, I've showed that I can catch that ball, and. I don't know, I guess pressure bust pipes, but uh, the ball went out um, and just my teammates being who they are, they stayed with me. Uh, I was able to go back on the field, uh, stay focused and, uh, you know, make a play and, and run it all the way back for a touchdown and get us in the playoffs. Looking back at your career, would you say that you left the impact on your career that you hoped you would? I do. I, uh, I say it all the time. I think. Um, you know, me not just being a player uh, by myself, but you know, what me and Pat was able to do um, through those years, I don't think, um, you know, we've seen that before. You know, when I walk around and fans give me that type of respect and that love, um, that makes me um, happy about what I did. When you think about 49ers linebackers, you obviously think Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis. I love the fact that you guys still keep in contact. What did you guys do to the game of football? I think we showed um, that, you know, having your successor uh, be your partner is okay. We always uh, congratulated one another on uh, whatever we did uh, that was great for the team and uh, that kept, kept us going and still keep us going to this day. I want to talk about this current 49ers team in, in particular. I want to talk about the linebackers. What have you seen out of the 49ers current group of linebackers? All gas, no breaks. You know, I, I, I hear Sala preaching it. Uh, you know, I see the guys really going out there and, and, and living up to that. And uh, that's what it takes, man, to be great. You know, you're going to have bad plays, but you got to look past them. You got to keep going. Um, no one is perfect. And like I told them guys when I first came out at the beginning of the year, um, you know, everyone's going to make mistakes. You know, just stay in it together. You know, stay tight knit um, and get through those adverse situations. And uh, they've done a great job so far this year. Um, we've seen it, you know, this far, but you, you haven't finished yet. And uh, 
that's the mentality that they have to keep all the way to the end. You talked about being here, I mean, you're here during training camp and uh, a little bit of the preseason, but when you were looking at this team, did you have any idea that they would be what we've been seeing on the field on Sundays? I've always said that Kyle's been looked at for me as one of the greatest play callers uh, in the last few years uh, that I've seen. And for those guys to understand what he's trying to get accomplished, and, and it can be annoying, repeating things, doing fakes, but that's the discipline that it takes to be a great offense. And um, they've done a great job doing it, making everything look the same. Uh, to talk about the defense, they've done a great job keeping everything in front of them. And um, it's both on both sides of the ball, it's, uh, it's looked well. I see a complete team. Everyone's on the same page. You know, you can, uh, you can see it, you can sense it. This is a group to be reckoned with. Group to be reckoned with, Navarro Bowman. Always a pleasure to have you back at Levi Stadium. Anytime you want to stop by, you know you got a place. Thank you, Kiana. I appreciate it. <laughs>